Kid, you're not going to make it to C1. Prove them wrong. Kid, you have lung problems. You have heart problems. You've got FAS. You don't focus well. Let's show them. I had a lot of, a lot of problems. Doctor saying I was not going to make it to see the next day, and um, pretty much there was no chance for me. Since then, I've had four open heart surgeries. I've had a trach, and uh, basically now I go off one lung. This lung really doesn't work very well. My mom was a druggie. You know, that's how she was, unfortunately. My dad had multiple sclerosis, and uh, he wasn't able to take care of me. So, my dad died when I was 11. I was raised by my grandparents. The thing that I think is probably the most important thing in this whole relationship, it's not what me as a grandparent has done, it's what you learn from the kid, what, you, what I've learned from Curtis, you know. I've learned about life, I've learned how to live. I've learned that when a boat don't start, that's not as near as important as what he faces every morning when he gets up. And so you, you learn how to live life, you know. I mean, I've learned far more from him than I've ever been able to give him. You know, I'm, I'm doing my best, you know. I'm doing okay, and I make a run, and I'm exhausted. I'm beat. My lungs are just killed. And uh, everybody comes rushing to me, like, are you okay? You know. For me, I see him coming down the hill, and I cry. There is no other answer that I'm proud of. Yeah, I'm gonna push it. My heart's gonna pop out of my chest. <laughs> you know, it really, it feels like that. And when I feel that way, I just push, I push harder. You know, I rather, I rather go off up that hill, my heart quit and me roll down lifeless, than me sitting in a chair waiting for it and then croaking. <laughs> you know, that's, that's not how I wanna live life.